Welcome back to my channel, I'm Kat Saves and I'm on a mission to help you shop smarter and save money. Welcome back to my series, Budget Food Finds. We are on episode four and this is smart snacking. So guys, I love to snack. I'm just gonna put it out there. Biscuits are my personal favorite. They are my absolute weakness. I truly do believe that snacks are important for a healthy, balanced diet. I don't believe in any restrictions. Having said that, in this episode about smart snacking, we are gonna be talking about some healthier snacking alternatives, where to buy the cheapest snacks and ways to save money on snacks. So make sure you go and check out episodes one, two, and three before you watch this. I talk about covered essentials in episode one. Episode two is fresh produce hacks. Episode three is high protein on a budget and episode four, smart snacking. And there are five episodes in this series. So next week will be the last one in this series. So let's just get straight into it. First, I wanna talk about understanding smart snacking. What constitutes a healthy snack is basically something that is nutrient dense, low in added sugars and unhealthy fats. And honestly, I think snacking is a really good part of your diet because it is great to just boost your energy in between meals. And also it's really good to improve your focus if you're kind of flagging a little bit throughout the day. But it is so important to know portion control. I'm not telling you to go and buy a packet of biscuits and go and eat the whole entire thing. That is not very good advice. Um, it is very important to understand what a good portion is. If you do struggle with this, it is a good idea to pre-portion your snacks and then it's just there ready for you. You're not going to be tempted by the whole packet if you've already portioned out the right portions for yourself. And it's also so important to remember that snacking should only be done to complement meals, not to replace them. So I wanna talk about some more healthy and affordable snack options. I'm not gonna be telling you to go out and buy bags of sweets and packets of crisps. No, there are much better, healthier, affordable options out there. DIY snacks are such a good idea. You can make these in advance and you know the exact ingredients in everything that you're eating. For example, you can make a homemade trail mix this will be something like mixed nuts, seeds, dried fruits, maybe dark chocolate chips for a little touch of sweetness. And these are the type of things that you can buy in bulk to make it really cost effective because you're not gonna be buying nuts that will go out of date. They're the type of thing that's gonna last you a long time. So it is really good to buy it in bigger portions. You can make so much of this and you've got snacks for days. So definitely look in the supermarkets for bulk buy or multi buy deals. You could also look at places like Costco, local markets, or even online places like Amazon. Another great snack option is veggie sticks with hummus. Now you can use so many different types of veggies for this, carrots, celery, cucumber, red peppers. My personal favorite is a cucumber with like sour cream dip. Honestly, that is so good. Carrots and hummus are also another absolute favorite of mine. You can obviously buy the dip or buy the hummus as it is, and it's not gonna cost that much, but you could also make your own. Hummus is literally just chickpeas. You can add olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, salt, and obviously vegetables are so cost effective. They are so cheap, especially if you're gonna buy something like carrots, you can get um loose carrots on their own for very very cheap like 10p a carrot or something like that you can obviously also buy like pre-cut pre-packaged vegetables if you did want to do that if you are a little bit short on time but it is always going to be a lot more cost effective to just get the raw uncut version and cut it yourself have you ever tried a peanut butter and banana wrap okay hear me out it is better than you think it is. You're basically just gonna use whole grain tortillas, peanut butter and bananas, and it is literally what it says on the tin. You put peanut butter and banana in the wrap, and this is so full of healthy fats, it's healthy carbs, and this is gonna keep you full. And this is really cost effective because peanut butter is not that expensive. You can obviously buy like, the higher end organic version, or you can buy the lower end version. Honestly, it is just personal preference, but just keep in mind there is a big price difference there as well. And you can also buy bananas for very cheap. If you get the bananas that are loose and not the bananas in the plastic 
um, you pay by weight. And honestly, I buy bananas on literally every single food shop because we get through them so quickly. They are such a great snack to have, even just bananas on their own. It's such a great snack and it is honestly so filling. It's relatively good in calories, full of potassium, full of fiber, all the good things. So other than the DIY snacks, you can obviously also look at ready-made snacks that you buy in the supermarket. For example, any type of nut butter, peanut butter, almond butter, um, you can get so many different ones these days like you can get more now than ever before you can get these from any supermarkets um, or health food shops as well you can also just have a look at for sales and nut butters are such a good option for healthy fats again you can dip anything in them apples and peanut butter incredible snack if you've not tried it before definitely give it a go rice cakes or whole grain crackers are such a great snack as well because again you can put anything on these imagine putting your really nice almond butter on a rice cake easy simple such a great snack and so affordable as well have a look in the budget supermarkets like Audi and Lidl for things like this um, you can get crackers and things from these supermarkets that are just the same as the big brands um, but they are going to be so much cheaper I personally absolutely love crackers with cream cheese what an elite combo cream cheese and crackers incredible <laughs> Another great snack option is popcorn. Now, I love to have popcorn in place of crisps. I don't eat crisps very often, but popcorn is a bit of a healthier option if you want the type of snack, you know, to kind of pick out like that. And you can get it in a ready to eat bag or you can get it in a microwavable bag. Um, either way, I think they are very cheap. They are very cost effective. You can get so many different flavors these days. I absolutely love the sweet and salty popcorn that they do in Tesco. That is my all time favorite. I would highly recommend and it is so affordable. And also have a look out for fruit and nut bars. Now you can make the mistake of going for bars that look healthy. Maybe they're marketed as healthy. Maybe it's one of those skinny bars. They're kind of marketed as weight loss things but these are actually packed full of ingredients and things that you really don't need to be eating I personally look at things like nut bars where the ingredients are literally like nuts and fruit and dark chocolate things like that things that are like proper ingredients that are actually really good for you naked fruit and nut bars are really good I also personally like the kind nut bars what are they the dark chocolate and sea salt nut bars they are honestly incredible and i know that bars like this are not going to be the cheapest in supermarkets i honestly only buy them when they are on a loyalty card offer i often go into tesco and every time i look at the bars if there if there's anything that's on a club card price i'm gonna buy it but you could also just keep an eye out for any kind of offers on or multi-buy deals as well. So where are the best places to buy affordable snacks? Obviously, you wanna look in your local supermarkets. Again, it is such a good idea to have the loyalty card for every single supermarket. Even if you don't think you shop there often, that's absolutely fine. You might pop in to like, an Asda, you've never been to Asda before, but you just happen to go past it this one time and you spot a few things that you wanna buy, just make sure you have the loyalty card just in case you can get a little bit of money off. And for a few of these shops of loyalty cards as well, you can actually build up points if you shop there often and turn these points into money such as your club card points and then if you wanted to you could spend that money on all the snacks that you want and also with the co-op i know that they do personalized coupons which is really good so if you do go in there and you just buy snacks from the co-op your all your coupons are going to be coupons for snacks which is a great way to save money definitely have a look in the discount supermarkets Audi and Lidl often do dupes of higher end snacks sometimes they can be a bit questionable sometimes the packaging is just the same but the actual product is nothing the same but if you are looking for affordable cheap snack options it's a good idea just to try them out try them out once if you don't like it that's absolutely fine but at least you have tried you can also look at online retailers amazon is incredible for buying snacks in bulk if you know there is something that you really really like look on amazon for 
bulk buy deals because you can save a lot of money in the long run, especially again, if it's something that doesn't go off straight away. If you can keep it in your cupboards for a while and you know you're gonna eat it, it is always a great idea to buy it in bulk. You can also have a look in Holland and Barrett. Now I am gonna say, I know Holland and Barrett is not the cheapest. It can be a little bit pricey sometimes, but they do do some good multi-buy deals and it's always worth kind of having a look if they have a sale on, if they have any deals on, um, and they obviously do some really nice healthy snacks in there. It's also a great idea to look around local markets. You're supporting the local community. You can find some really nice homemade snacks, some fresh fruit from farmers markets, things like that, and it's gonna be affordable. You're helping the local community, and there's probably not gonna be as much plastic packaging as you get with supermarkets. So here are a few extra ways to save money on snacks. You can plan your snacks ahead of time. Try creating a weekly snack menu. You set aside time each week to plan out your snacks just like you would do a meal plan. This reduces impulse purchases and it also will reduce the need to kind of snack willy-nilly throughout the day if you've planned what snacks you're going to have every day and when you're going to eat them or you know an approximate time frame of when you're going to eat them and obviously make sure you are making a list of the ingredients you need for your planned snacks to avoid buying unnecessary items buy in bulk now i talk about bulk buying in every single episode because it is so important and it is so helpful for saving money so obviously when you go to any shop See if you can get a better deal by buying in bulk, by getting the bigger packet of something, for example, nuts and seeds, dried fruit. Um, these are all really good things to get the bigger packet of if it is more cost effective. And again, only if it is something that you know you're gonna eat, you're planning on eating it, and it's not just gonna sit in your cupboard for ages. And if you buy in bulk, make sure you are storing things properly. You need to be putting these things into airtight containers. If you've opened a bag, um, there is no use just leaving it open in the cupboard. You need to make sure it's in an airtight container and that it's gonna keep it as fresh as you can. Always utilize discounts and loyalty programs. Most supermarkets do offer points or discounts to members. For example, Tesco Club Card or Sainsbury's Nexa Card can help you earn points for future discounts. Try to shop seasonally. Now I am talking specifically about fruit and veg for this. Purchase fruits and vegetables that are in season. They are typically cheap cheaper and fresher. So make sure you are visiting local farmers markets for potential deals. And local farms often sell snacks or snack ingredients like homemade jams or nut butters at lower prices than commercial retailers. So it is definitely worth having a look around your local community. Do you have a farmers market or just a farm in general anywhere near you? And just have a look and compare the prices between there and the supermarkets. And obviously try to make snacks at home. You don't have to be buying all of these pre-made snacks. Try to dedicate a little bit of time every week to making your own snacks. Think about batch cooking when you are making your snacks so you can prepare large batches of snacks like energy balls, granola bars or healthy muffins and then you can store them in the freezer for quick access and they are gonna last a long time. And it doesn't have to be super complicated. You can make some really, really simple recipes with basic ingredients. For example, mixing oats, honey, and peanut butter, and you've got a no-bake granola bar. Oats and nut butter goes together so well. I baked some protein cookies that were basically, the main ingredients was literally just peanut butter and oats, and they came out really, really nice. So it is really worth looking at some easy recipes with some straightforward, fresh ingredients. Another good little hack is to shop at the end of a season. For example, if you go into the supermarket the day after Christmas, you're gonna have all of these discounted Christmas chocolates, Christmas snacks that didn't end up selling in time. And this literally applies to every single season. You'll see Easter eggs discounted the day after Easter. You've got Halloween sweets discounted the day after Halloween. So it is such a good idea to pop into the supermarket first thing in the morning, the day after a season has just ended. Um, a season or a celebration, should I say. You could also try involving family and friends. How about some kind of snack swap where you each maybe make something, bake something, whatever it is, and then, you know, you can make a big portion and everyone can swap and then you'll get something different and there's a huge variety and you'll probably find something new that you've never tried before. And I think this is just a really 
fun way to do it. And you can also save money on snacks by making sure you are eating the correct portion sizes. If you are buying in bulk and you eat everything in one go, then that is just not cost effective at all. So it is well worth portioning out your snack. Divide larger packages into single servings to help manage portion sizes and reduce the temptation to overindulge. You can store snacks in smaller containers to avoid reaching for larger, more calorie dense portions. If you are someone who has a biscuit jar, for example, if you have a huge biscuit jar and it's filled with biscuits, you are just gonna keep taking biscuits out of the jar and that's not very good portion control at all. So if you are that kind of person who really struggles with portion control, portion it out beforehand, put it in smaller jars and just don't have so much to choose from all in one go. And just one last tip, it's not really a money saving tip for snacks, but it's a bit of a repurposing money saving tip. Make sure you are repurposing any packaging. Any jars that you might have, for example, maybe it was jars from your nut butters, jam jars, things like that can really be used again. Wash them out, use them again. You can use jars for anything. They're gonna be so useful. And this is just gonna be really good for the environment. It's less wasteful. And I'm sure you'll find a use for them because they could just be used as storage for other snacks. So by implementing these strategies, you can definitely cut down on your snack expenses without sacrificing quality or enjoyment. I would definitely recommend trying some new snack options that you've never tried before. You might find something that you absolutely love that you never thought you would. And don't be afraid to just try a few different methods and find what works best for your lifestyle and your preferences. It's a combination of planning, smart shopping and DIY solutions that will yield the best results in saving money on snacks. Please leave me a comment if you have any hacks or tips of your own, I would absolutely love to know. Um, next week we have got episode five in the series, it's the last episode and we're going to be talking about ultra processed food swaps. So make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified when that video goes up. Please like this video and subscribe for more money saving and shopping tips.